While Google Chrome Store is filled with some incredible extension, it's tough to wade through tons of apps. But there are some hidden gems out there that will probably catch your attention. Like computer, ring my phone. Hi there, this is Funaw and Sakin and like always, to save you some time, here are my top 10 Google Chrome extensions that you should definitely check out. The list doesn't include the popular extensions like Pocket, Grammarly or Pushbullet etc. If you're interested in that, then check out my other video. But before we get started, I would like to thank our sponsor for this video, MailTag. MailTag is an email tracking service to see if and when your email was read and if the recipient has clicked on the link that you put inside the email. But how is MailTag different from barrage of other email tracking service? Well, for one, it is the only email tracking app which offers all the features for you have guessed it, yes, free. More on that in the coming videos. For now, go check out MailTag. A link to that will be in the description of this video along with all the other Chrome extensions. If you are like me who opens Google homepage like several times a day and at the same time you also hit the website tiles that are displayed in the new tab, then try out custom Google background. This extensions add a background image for you on the Google homepage and any other Google search page that you visit. By default, the app fetches the wallpaper from Unsplash, but you also have the option to choose from a minimal solid color or personalize it with the wallpaper of your choice. And since you can always do the Google search from the Omnibox, you also have the option to keep the search bar subtle or hide it completely. While there are tons of emojis for mobile texting app, I am sure you wish they exist on desktop as well. Well guess what, emojis for Google Chrome will make that happen for you. Once installed, there are three ways to access the emoji. Let's say you want to reply to a Facebook message, then type into colon and then start typing the name of the emojis like happy, sad or whatever. A list of matching emojis will appear showing you the relevant smileys. Or you can always do it the old school way, that is click on the box while you're typing, let's say a compose email box and then click on the smiley face icon on your toolbar and select a new one. Once done, click here and copy them in your clipboard, as simple as it gets. There are many websites in the world that are confined to a specific country. Let's take Netflix for instance. If you want to watch the Office US version from any other country outside the United States, well you cannot do that. And guess what, UltraSafe is the only free app that can remove Netflix jurisdictions with a touch of a button. Not just Netflix, it can circumvent jurisdictions on any other website like Spotify, Pandora, Hulu and whatnot. UltraSafe is a proxy service that was originally created for the internet user in China to find security and freedom online. However, from security and privacy point of view, I don't recommend UltraSurf. Since it's a free service, chances are they are keeping a log and tracking your browsing pattern. So it's better to get a paid VPN. More on that in the coming videos. If you are an Android enthusiast like me and wants to keep a track of all the latest and greatest Android app, then you should try out Toolbox for Google Play. Simply put, Toolbox for Google Play Store will add an APK mirror, Android police article and an app brain button to all the Play Store app pages. So if you ever wonder how would I know if the app is just one month old for our cool new app series, well you can always check the app page directly by going to the app brain website. Similarly, if you want to get the APK for any other application which is not available in your country, then APK mirror is the only trusted source. However, searching applications there is a tedious task. So having this extension gives you one-click access. Sometimes it's hard to find out the right time to make purchase on Amazon. What if the seller has increased the price or what if the price go down after you purchase it? Well in that case, Keepa is the extension you need. For instance, you finally decided to gift yourself a MacBook but not sure if the price is just right. Keepa is a price tracking service which will show you the price history of the last 3 months and if the price seems out of your budget then you can set a price tracker and Keepa will send you an email alert when the price drop. Useful if you are a frequent shopper on Amazon. When you want to send a large file from your PC to Android or iOS, then we usually use AirDroid or Pushbullet. But for faster no sign up method, send anywhere is a better alternative. Simply install this Chrome extension on your computer and drag and drop the files there. 
enter the Unix 6 digit key on your Android or iPhone and you will have the file in there in no time. Send Anywhere use peer-to-peer -peer transfer for your files, meaning that you will need an active internet connection for it to work. But unlike Dropbox, your files are not stored in any server. On Android, you can share several different files like photos, music, videos, files, APK, contacts and much more. And the cool thing is, it can use Wi-Fi Direct to send files between two Android devices. Meaning, as long as both the Android device have Send Anywhere installed, you can transfer large files without the internet. Now that you can use WhatsApp from your computer, why not do it for SMS as well? And thankfully, if you own an Android device, you can use MyDText. As the name suggests, this application lets you send or read your text messages directly from your computer. But since I don't text much, the only selling point for me is the remote phone manager. You can access your photos and videos directly from the PC or schedule a SMS. Or you can even make a phone call. Yes, you can make a phone call remotely. Although it doesn't make much sense unless you have a Bluetooth receiver connected to your phone. Other than that, you can also send big files from your computer to Android or call your phone if you're not able to find it. We all have those days when there are millions of things needs to be done, but we don't know where to start. Well then, prioritizing and organizing your stuff makes a lot of difference and Todoist does a kick-ass job with it. Simply open the app and write down the task. Try to keep the list under 5. 3 is what I go for. You can also set up a reminder for future tasks. And the cool thing about Todoist, you can track the activity from your Android and iOS device as well. Todoist app is available in every platform. So no matter which device you are on, you can always cross the item from your to-do list and feel the sense of dopamine. Ever wanted to send a voice command from your computer to Android? Like, computer, push this page to Google Pixel. Thanks to the Google Chrome extension Join, it is a popular push bullet alternative and from the developer of our most favorite tasker plugins, you can not only control your Android from your computer like sending current tabs to your device, taking screenshots and launching tasker commands, but after the recent update, it also allows you to control your phone from the voice command. Pretty cool right? To get it working, install the app and the Chrome extension on your Android and computer respectively. Next, whenever you see a certain activation phase, by default it's computer, or you can also choose to activate the voice command with keyboard shortcut, it will automatically send those commands to your Android device. Join Android app comes with 30 day free trial, after which you will have to pay one time fee of $5. Finally, if you have an annoying co-worker like Dwight from The Office and you are like Jim who is looking for a fun way to pull harmless prank Are you gonna discipline him or not? No, discipline. Kinky! <laughs> Alright. Then Jerkface Chrome extension is what you need. To get started, you need to install this extension on your enemy's computer. Since it's not from the official Chrome store, you will have to silo it. And then head over to the Chrome extension page and make sure the developer mode is checked and then drag and drop the CRX file. That's it. Once installed, this application will hide in plain sight with Google Chrome icon and what it does is throw evil. It slows down the YouTube video playback on YouTube by 1% every day, meaning that after 30 days, the video playback will reduce to 70%, slowing down little by little every day. And the funniest part is, since Google Chrome syncs the extension everywhere, meaning if the coworker is watching a video in home and the extension is installed in the office computer, it will still work at the home computer. And even if the playback speed is already slow, it will further slow it down. So is it useful? Well, definitely not. But then again, not everything has to be useful in life. So that's pretty much it. I hope you find some of the useful extensions that you were looking for. If you did, then give this video a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. So it's Munala signing off. I will see you in the next one. And like always, thank you for watching.